Hi, everybody. Um, you know, I was just sitting here uh, just thinking. Um, I get so many phone calls from people, and, you know, when I tell them that, you know, I've been married a long time, and when I tell them I've been married 30 years, it seems to shock a lot of people. But I just wanted to let everybody know I'm not the, we're not the only ones out here that's married, you know, that long. There are a lot of y'all out here that have stuck to the commitments that you made to your, your wife or your husband, and you made it work. And I just wanted to, I felt I needed to bring this because I, I'm listening to people come to me. I've had so many people come and say, how does your marriage work? What do you do to make your marriage work? And it's not hard. All you have to do, if I may say this, and I'm just, this is my own personal opinion, and this is what has worked for us, is you make a commitment. You realize when you're walking down that aisle with that person and you say, I do. You know whether or not, I'm going to tell you something, you know whether or not that person is going to be for you, one of those to death do us part. Because there's something on the inside that's going to let you know that. I knew when I married my husband, I knew that it was to death do you part. Because you know. Um, and then two, you make a commitment. That's why they say forsaking all others. There's too much, from what I can see, a lot of commitment adultery going on. A lot of fornication going on. I'm not going to judge you one way or the other because I'm not, I'm not God. And I didn't die for you, you know. But I want to just let you know, the reason my marriage lasted as long as it has, and it's going on 31 years, it'll be 31 years next year, is because I'm, we made a commitment, and we're very happy. We talk a lot. We vent. We never go to bed angry. Uh... We, you know, I could be, we'd be mad one minute, and the next minute, we get over it. We move on. And we, I, I learned as a wife, and I'm being real with you, because I'm a very opinionated person. I say what I mean and mean what I say, and I, I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a Christian and love God, but we are still humans. We still going, you know, God does deal with our hearts, but what I love about, um, about us is the fact that especially for me I can speak as a woman I can speak for a woman as a woman I do allow my husband to be the priest of his home the head of his household I really do uh, I may uh, get upset about some things and I may vent uh, I may not agree with some things that my spouse may do but at the end I leave the final decision up to him and the last thing, if I know what it's, uh, is a decision that's being made is wrong, I've learned to take it to God in prayer. I learned to have God deal with him because God placed the man as the head. God is going to hold the man accountable, not us. And see, that's the thing that uh, has helped me a lot. So I hope that answers a lot of the questions. And I try to come back with uh, positive things, but I've gotten a lot of calls and I've counseled a lot of people, you know, even people that have said they've been married 16 years and husbands decide to just walk out for God only knows why. But I think it's how you take care of your man, how you treat your man. Uh, one thing I've learned, we as women, it's up to us. We can make our men feel like they can be the president of these United States of America. But it's up to, you know, it's how you deal with your man, too. Um, you know, I, what I've seen is a lot of tit for tat. Well, if he cheats, I'm going to cheat. No, it should never be like that. You should always remember the reason why you married that person. And another thing, we always have a date night. Always have a date night. We always have a special place we go uh, every week or every two weeks. And we have dinner and we do things. We go to a movie and we share. And see, one of the, um, another thing I think is very important. Just like how you got to get him to keep him, you got to continue looking good. You can't, 
you know, keep, uh, you can't have him come home, man, and you sitting up there in rollers and, and, and looking bad. I mean, one thing about me, I tell my husband all the time, baby, every night you get a new wife because I do whatever it takes, whether, it fix, whether it's to fix the hair up, uh, a new do, a new wig, whatever works, baby, that's what you do. So I just wanted to answer some of the questions. And the one thing about me, I always try to keep it real. And ladies, you know, just do what you have to do in the sense of doing what's right. See, if you always do what's right, you know, I always hear, you know, I heard a preacher say this, you know, you can get a divorce. Nobody said you had to get a divorce like tomorrow. You know, if things are so bad and you feel like this man is just so messed up, you're going to divorce him. You have to make sure when you leave that relationship, and I heard a preacher say this, that you've done everything, everything on your part as a wife so that that man cannot say, hey, I'm leaving divorcing you for this. You understand? You cover your bases. But most of the time, I will say to you women, if you want to keep your marriage, because uh, it's mostly, you know, a lot of the men seem to be cheating. And women got it going on too. Y'all be cheating too. But it, it comes down to commitment, how you take care of yourself, how you, you know, how you treat your man. You know, you take care of your man, you treat your man, you know, your man ain't got to never worry about nothing because you're on top of things, you know. And I always encourage my husband. I always encourage him. I always let him know I admire, you know, things about him, you know. And that's really what it's about. So I hope I answered everybody's question. Um, you know, kick it out there to me. Uh, if you guys want to, you know, one thing about me, I'm keeping it real. Keeping it real. And ladies, let's keep it real. You know, you can't be meeting that man there with rollers in the hair and hair sticking all up on your head and him coming home and house look like God only knows. And you got kids running around, snotty noses. You know, you, you can't have all that. Baby, you got to really take care of that man just like you did when you got him. I mean, you know, come on, girls. Because when we was dating him, we was getting him and we was looking good all the time. Hairdo, makeup. You know, you got to keep it up. Even when you get old in your 60s and your 50s, you got to get on that treadmill and work it because I'm working it now. When I start looking in the mirror and I don't like what I see, like right now, three, day, three days a week, I'm on that treadmill. Do I like it? No. But I know in due time, if I keep working it, I'm going to be looking good for my man. It's about the, the little things you do to accommodate your husband and vice versa, men. You got to do what's right by your women, too. It's not all us. You got to do your part. So... Uh, I hope this answers any questions. Um, like I said, if it doesn't, let me know. And once again, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. So it's the men that's going to find the wife. Sisters, you just got to keep yourself together and make sure that you get the right rib. And also, you know, let me just say this because, I, I, hey, I got to say this, got to say this. A lot of times, sisters, we marry these men because we want to get married. Not realizing and knowing whether or not this man can support you and take care of you in the sense. Now, don't go off here. But I'm saying, men, we look up to you guys as the providers and the protectors. Don't no woman want no man that you got kids and you have these kids and everybody's looking up to you and you cannot pull your load and do what you have to do. But there's a lot of men that's out there doing, doing and handling their business and I'm all for y'all. I applaud you. I applaud you. But once again, you know, we all have to put those cards on the table. And we have to bring something to the table. You know, we all have to work together. And that's another thing because my husband and I, we work together as a team. It's like a business transaction for us. Business. We're going to make sure that business grow because we in the business together. Helping each other. To do what we need to do. So anyway, I hope this helps. Give me some feedback, guys. Want to hear from you, sisters. Want to hear. But I hope that it's helped. Because I've had so many people 
calling me. I've canceled, counsel, excuse me, quite a few of you sisters, and I hope that this has helped. Uh, I wanted to put it out here because uh, I felt like it's enough of y'all calling me and enough of y'all that I'm getting with, you know, we going out for them lunches, and we got to know, you know, I want y'all, I want to hear from y'all. So, anybody else going through, I hope this helped you. God bless.